You're going to begin gridding your Big Blue Horses by Franz Mark. We're going to be scaling up um, to double the size of the piece that you have here. So this one's 7 by 4. So on this piece of paper, it's going to be 14 by 8. So this piece of paper is a little bigger than what you need so that it doesn't get on the table and you have some area to um, try out your colors on. So I'm going to go in two inch increments. This, um, this ruler is a little bit funny, but if you can see, here's the two inch and these are centimeters. So you're going to ignore these Here's the two inch, and you'll just draw a line directly up and make a little mark. So we're going to be going again in two inch increments. You're not lining up this edge with the paper. You're lining up this first little tick mark with the edge. And then every two inches along the long edge of the paper, you're going to make a little mark all the way, the way along this side of the paper. These are short rulers, so you might have to move them in order to measure correctly and make your lines really straight. Okay, so I've made my two inch little marks along one side and now I'm going to do it along the other side to ensure that I have straight lines when I draw my lines in. So again, I'm lining up the edge with this side with this little tick, not the side of the blue, but this little tick mark. And every two inches I'm going to make a little mark. Make sure you're not using the centimeter side, you're using the inches. All right, so now you can take either your ruler, or maybe you have, um, maybe you have a straight edge of some sort, like a book or something, and you're going to connect these little marks. So I have a little mark over here, I have a little mark over here, and now I'm going to connect them. I'm going to do this lightly just dark enough for me to see it so that you can't see it through your oil pastels when you do that later. Almost there. Okay. So now along the short side, you're going to do the same thing. You made your little tips along the long side of the paper, so now you have vertical lines all along the long side of your paper and now you're going to measure the short side of your paper again every two inches so that we have perfect two inch squares for our grid.
then I'm going to flip, rotate to the other side. Every two inches, make a little mark. Okay, now this is going to be a little bit tricky to do. I recommend that you use a long sheet of paper. I'm just using a sheet of paper as my straight edge. Maybe I'm using that in combination with my ruler. I have to get a little creative because my ruler is not quite long enough. So with my paper and my ruler, I made that line. So now I have perfect two inch by two inch squares. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way through. You can't see I'm lining up my paper and my ruler so that you can see it that I don't have to pick up my ruler and maybe get a, a crooked line. Gridding is a technique that's used by a lot of artists. Um, one really famous artist that uses gridding is Charles Shore. It's also used popularly in murals um, so that an artist, a graffiti artist or an artist who is commissioned to do a mural can draw what they want on a separate smaller sheet of paper and then grid it and make it larger without distorting it. So now you have your grid and you're able to draw your big blue horses with one shape at a time. So I recommend doing this by covering up everything except for one square at a time and I'm going to start here and work my way from left to right. So I'm literally just going to come here. I can see that this comes over a little bit and draw these shapes exactly as I see them. Every time I see a color variation I'm going to draw that too. So this isn't just the shapes, it's color variation as well. Take your time, make sure that you're getting it accurate. If you mess up here, it will affect the larger piece. Make sure that you're looking for even the slightest of color variations. So you can see that I've drawn this square and now I'm going to move to my next square. Don't hop around, it will make it confusing. Just move from one square down to the next. Make sure that they line up. And make comparisons. This doesn't come all the way to the edge. This comes about halfway. So I can make those comparisons. and make sure that everything is accurate. Okay, so now I have the first two piece, 